Good morning. This is Linda K. And this is Buttercup's room. So excuse the mess. He's my kitty cat. And right now, he wants to be in the video, I think. Every time I start to make a video, he wants on my lap. Say hi everybody. This is Buttercup. And he's three years old. And he's a male kitty. I got him after my other one passed away. Back in October of one twenty two thousand nineteen or two thousand twenty. I'm not sure which. And I and I've had him like a, from like a week after my other cat died. That's when when I got Buttercup, and I named him Buttercup. Okay, it's been a while, and things have happened in my life. I've had two uncles pass away close together from two different sizes of family. I've had four friends pass away since January. So it's been rough, difficult, and hard to deal with. January and February January and February have been my two worst months. Plus you know, COVID and the weather, so it's been a mess since January. My town, and I live in northern Indiana, my town alone has had three, well, I'm going to have a third uh, snowstorm starting tomorrow night. Oh, and by the way, this is Saturday. Uh, February the 20th, 2021. Uh, we're getting another snowstorm starting tomorrow night, Saturday, Saturday night, I mean Sunday night, excuse me, starting Sunday night and into Monday. We're getting a major snowstorm. I'm not sure how much snow we're supposed to get yet, but there is a major snowstorm coming Sunday night into Monday. And the temperatures this week has been below zero. Been like minus 5 to minus 20. And then the daytime, it only gets up to like 15, 15, 16 degrees. So this weather has been awful. Three, we're going on our third snowstorm and we've had two major ice storms since January so and I am praying for everybody in Texas I have a cousin that lives in Texas I'm not sure where but her and her family lives in Texas and I am praying for for everybody that lives in Texas and I know it's terrible what has happened there in Texas. So I am hoping and praying that things will get back to normal again for everybody in Texas. So, and today the sun is shining, but when I got up this, well, when I woke up, it was only three degrees above zero. Just three. And I've been, I know the answer. So I've been cold, bitter cold. And I did not even go to McDonald's yesterday because Fridays are my McDonald's days. And McDonald's is only one block away. And due to being bitter cold yesterday, I did not get out of the house. I have not been out of the house all week long only to get my mail. And 
my mailbox is only three steps from my front door. <coughs> so that's the only time I've been getting out. It's just to get my mail. So and so I decided to come on here today since it's not snowing and since I don't have nothing majorly anything to do and so I have whips and I will show you them to you and I got hauled but <laughs> I forgot to take it out of my craft room so I will do that the next time um the first whip and I will show you a picture of it. As by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I've called Princess Parade. And this is, uh, um, can't think of the word. This is number seven in the Country Cottage Kids series. So this is um, pattern number seven in that series, and here's what it looks like. And I'm doing it on um, 14 count because I love my 14 count fabric. And here is what it looks like. And I changed, I changed the eye because they're black. And so I changed it to blue, which is, which is 827. And then on top of her head, is supposed to be clinic uh, metallic threads as her crown. Well, I decided to use be, be, treasure braid and PB01. So this is the one that I'm, that I'm using. for the crown and also from her arm to to this to this right here it's supposed to be a wand and you're supposed to use the the clinic thread but I'm like I said I'm using, using the treasure braid so I'm using the treasure braid for the crown and for the wand. So So that's and then I'm using the rest of the threads are all DMC. So I'm using seven fifty four. Seven ninety three, eight twenty seven, thirty three forty eight, thirty eight sixty two, and then B fifty two hundred. So those are the threads I'm using, and it's a call for a thread except for I changed the eye to blue. And the and I'm using the treasure braid for the gold crown and for the for the four for the crowns and for the wands. So that's this is my easy project. Like if I'm too tired to work on 
on anything else, I can pull this out and work on it. And excuse me while I'm trying to get this back in the Ziploc bag so nothing happens to it. So that is whip number one. Now, the next one is my very, very piece. I got everything in bags and Ziploc bags. Hang on a second. Okay. Here's what this is um Earl Grey Tea, I think the name of it is. That's what it looked like. And it's Mirabilia. And I got the beading completely done on her head and on her. And here's what it looked like. Wait a minute, let me get my. So all the bidding is done, complete is completely done on her. Now the only thing I got left to do is to do the beading around the whole edge of the moon. And then that is it. I love how this came out. And so I just had the edge around the, the whole moon to do the beading. And then this will be finished. And let me tell you, there is tons of beading to do on this project. There are lots of beads. So when I got got her done, as far as the beating is concerned, then I took a break and I'm still on break. Because I kind of got tired of beating. But I will get this one finished over the next few months. I mostly uh, beat at night. I'm sitting there by myself. Well, with Buttercup. So that's when it's real quiet. So that's number two. And then number three. Is. As Heaven and Earth Design Chart, QS Library Fairy 5, and the artist is Randall Spangler, and of course it's charted by my source, say, Yady. So this is what it looked like. And I am on page four, and I'm on row three, and I'm not going to take on my thing because I got right where I wanted it at. 
But here's what it looks like. Well, I'll I'll take it off. Hey, just a minute. Then you see her head and her face. Okay. So I'm on page four and I'm getting ready ready to do the third row, which is this by right here. So that's a third row. That's going to be the third row. On page four. The rest of page four from the third row on down is real easy. There's not too many confetti testing. On page four, once you get rows one and two done, And there's nine pages to the chart, so I'm on page four. Yay! Oh, and I'm doing this on 28 count white Zobin, one over one. I prefer to dip my age. Oh, and I'm making that for the, for my local library. So that's how I'm trying to get it done. Um, uh, I prefer to dip my page on 18 count, but since this is for the library, I decided to do it on 28 count. And then there's one other one that I'm doing. Well, I haven't worked on it, so that's why I didn't. Well, I'm not going to show it to you. It's uh, hanging with some butterflies, cloth, or something like that. It has butterflies and the tricks of a cloth. I'm doing that on 25 count 1 over 1, and it is a pain in the neck because it's tons of confetti. My new star is at the uh, Frosty Forest series by Country Kitty Needleworks, and there's nine chart to it. And I'm taking chart number one. So chart number one, or I just say pattern. Pattern number one is the raccoon cabin. So that's the one I'm testing. And then the next one in the series is Snowy Deer. The next one is Snowman Cottage. The next one is Snowy Friends. The next one is a uh, Bluebird Cabin. The next one is Snowy Foxes. Next one is No Girls Cottage. I love this one. The next one is No Reindeer.
and the next one is Frosty, and the last one in the series is called Frosty Forest. So that's the last one in the series. And there's nine of them. And I'm stitching these on all one piece of fabric. And here is my progress on chart number one, which is Raccoon Cabin. So that's how much I got done on it. And believe me, doing this on 14 count is so much be better than doing it on 28 count. Or 32 count. So I'm sticking this on 14 count light blue Ada. Um, and, and I'm using, you know, the DMC threads. And it's two over one. And I love, I, and this material, oh, it is so soft. It's not your typical card, Ada. I got this fabric from one, two, three, this and and it's by Swagger, Swagger from one, two, three, this. So if you go on their website and you go to their fabric section and you click on fourteen count Ada then you will find that most of the Ada is by Swigart. And I'm telling you, this is so soft and it is easy to stitch on. Oh, I love it. It's so soft. So, and here is how big it's gonna be and I'm doing Three across, I think it is, with two rows in between the sides and the and the you know and the bottom rows. So yeah. I love working on this. It is so easy to work on. My uh, preference for stitching on, you know, on fabrics at 14 count, 18 count, and that's about the extent of it. So those are all my whips, and and actually the only haul that I got is the winter 20, 2021 season of uh, the Journey Creek magazine, and I got the January and February charts for the Britter Kitty by Britter. Britter Cup designs, just in January and February, and and then I still got some things, and I ordered the limited edition of the Sunken Treasure chart by Heaven and Earth Design, and it's limited edition. So if you want that chart, you have until March the fifteenth to get it. And you can order it through the Heaven and Earth Design website. And it cost $25. So I got that coming. And another chart that I got coming is um, it called Fairy Whispers Map Color Heaven and Earth Design. So I got that chart coming. And 
think that's yeah that's about it and I ordered a uh, Phoebe tart this morning from Stony Creek website and it has a picture of two dolphins and they're you know they're like kissing one another and then underneath it's you know it's a circle and then in the center of the circle it's just love and there's something else and, and it had like a cheese shells and stuff like that that you know in the circle toward the bottom of the circle so I got that coming and it's free but you have to pay like three fifty for the shipping and and uh, the handling. So if you go on the Stony Creek website, you will see the chart that had love in the center with two dolphins, and it will say zero for the cost, and it's three fifty for the shipping and and handling. So you don't have to pay. For the chart itself, you just have to pay for the shipping and the handling. So, and if I had, if I did not mention this already, this is block tube number 26. And I do want to thank all of my returning subscribers for taking time out to watch my video. I want to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel and for taking time to watch my videos and hopefully I will make frequent videos instead of waiting for almost two months to do one but when life gets in the way you just have to do what you have to do and uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And the next, and oh, and the book that I am currently reading is called Miss Julia Speaks Her Mind. And by Ann B. Ross. And it's about a boy and his mother. The mother dropped her son off to this lawyer or the police investigator and she doesn't come back and and it's a whole kind, kind of like a mystery type story because nobody knows what happened to the mother and they found evidence in the in the garage of their house and stuff so I'm about halfway through it and it's getting to be more interesting more all the time so well I think this will be it and hopefully this coming this next coming you know the next Saturday which is the 27th, I'll be back with a video and I will show my haul that I got because by then I will have all my patterns from Heaven and Earth Designs except for the one, the limited edition because I'm not ordering that until next month and then um and then what, whatever else I get in the mail. So, I will talk to you all later. Have a great week. Stay warm. Stay safe. And be careful. I love you all. Bye.